you are the last. I didn't steal anything. I didn't see anything. I, I, I won't tell. I know. No, no, no. Nah, he wasn't human, he can't be. It's Whitechapel. You don't have to be human to dwell here. Scotland Yard up against monsters. <laughs> this is front page news in the New York Times. My editor's gonna love this. Ah, gentlemen of the press. And I use that term lightly. Hang on, hang on. Chief Inspector Gull's making a statement. I gotta get this. Gentlemen, the streets of Whitechapel run red. Clearly, murders committed by revolutionaries that want to corrupt London. Do you care for a seat, Mr... Nah, uh... I prefer to stand, if he knee, and call me doctor. Many of you have been the first to cast assertions on the yard. Perhaps you were right. Perhaps we... No, I have failed to bring you the Ripper. Tonight, I stand before you and admit defeat. My duty is to the people of London, and my duty is to resign. Resign from this investigation and ask you to put your faith in a better man. A better man than I. A friend of the force and the people of London. It would seem that my reputation precedes me. Excuse me. Gentlemen, Mr Sherlock Holmes. Mm, Slightly embarrassing. Thank you, Chief Inspector Gull. Terror grips the streets of London. The game is afoot. Cool beans. I can assure you, the more excitable newsman, that this monster is as human as you or I. No giant rats hungry for flesh, gentlemen. Classic, Holmes. Classic. And therefore, he can be caught. No, he will be caught. You have my word. Mr. Holmes, where's Dr. Watson? The good doctor is away recuperating in Edinburgh. I feel his courage will make him his own best patient. Ah, Holmes needs a doctor. He has faced many scoundrels, but with Mrs. Hudson at his side, He will face his best challenge yet, I suspect. So you're facing the Ripper on your own, Mr. Holmes? Gentlemen, I have my intellect for company. I now request your discretion for the good of the people of London. Good day. Mr. Holmes, I... I'm a traveller, judging by the quaint cut of your cloth. A foreign tailor? Overcoat Campbell. No, Cameron. A Celt. And? The openness of your hands conveys honesty, which you most certainly are, but... Yes? You have an edge. I can scarcely believe I'm saying this, but how did you reach that deduction, Mr. Holmes? You do not have to be bitten by a jaguar to know that it is dangerous. Good day. I'm the doctor. Mr. Holmes, I wouldn't mind going with you. For myself, one loyal doctor will suffice. In his absence, I choose to work alone. Actually, I'm here to help you. By executive order of Scotland Yard. This is not Scotland Yard documentation. A fake. I'm a policeman. Obviously not the plainclothes unit. Doctor, I'm... Everything that I would have expected. You are a curiosity. You may accompany me. I'm sure to companion. I'm the companion? By the way, I love that stuff with the jacket. So, I don't get it. How come Gull's not assigning a protective officer to Mr. Holmes and that odd-looking little guy? Word down the local is Gull has other ways of keeping track of people. There are revolutions brewing, Doctor. The simpler people blame a devil from a foreign land. Simpler folk are usually made to think what more complicated minds conceive. Complicated or more devious, Doctor. Great uh, sense of fashion, Holmes. Not many men can pull off velvet and uh, a cape. Where's your hat, by the way? I do not wear one. 
Watson's concerned about circulation to the muscles of the brain. No hat? Different timeline, perhaps? Is there a no hat timeline? Where's my glasses? Are your eyes in good health, Doctor? How can you possibly see through the darkened glass? Perfectly well, thank you. Aha! A huge energy surge. Waterloo Station. Who is Ray-Ban, pray tell? Why do you wear such odd spectacles? My eyes are sensitive to the light, and I like to blend in, vanish into the crowd. And I think they make me look kind of (laughs) cool. Doctor, you've just walked into a horse. Your choice, Holmes. Old case, which I'm guessing involves a train carriage. Or the Ripper. The Ripper case, of course. I agree. Let's go with one of your old cases, then. Absolutely not. Wait. How did you know it was a train carriage? Excellent. Follow me. I fail to see what Waterloo Station has to do with... I'm playing a hunch, Holmes. Doctor, I fail to see the relevance. I merely consulted on this case for the briefest time. This is the carriage. Yes. Tickets, please. Talk of revolution is growing. Five members of the elite travelling from Glasgow. Brutally murdered. That's a first. Killed after you've left Glasgow. The poor do not stay oppressed for long. Evidently not. Blood. Correct. You have a keen eye. What was the date of these murders? The 13th of August. Year? 1888, of course. Planet? Earth. Do not jest, dear doctor. Okay, sorry. Just before the five recorded Ripper murders? The victims were discovered here in this carriage. The motivation seemed to be a robbery. Money and jewellery were acquired. Men wearing jewellery? A gentleman's ring I deduce. And how do you deduce this exactly? It was missed initially, but on each finger a slim band of paler skin. Obviously caused by the fact that they all wore a ring. All five of them had rings. Same finger? As far as I could tell, I was removed from the case shortly after. That's a little strange. An obvious conclusion, but a valid one. Unless they were all uh, married to one another. The not-so-repressed Victorian times, you know. No, Doctor, I do not know, as you put it. Hmm. Um, Any prior arrests for the uh, deceased? A conviction for engaging in prostitution for Benedict Waters, architect by royal appointment. Benedict? This name amuses you. Uh, no, no. So all the bodies were left here, in storage. There were no signs of them being dragged here. They entered this carriage of their own choosing. Some rich blokes, all dead, in a storage carriage. Why? The universal question, indeed. Not quite universal. I never heard it on Peladon. Peladon? Uh, North Wales, very north. Curious. How did they die? Each of them had their throats cut. Oh, don't say that. I hate throaty stuff. Why can't folks be civil and just shoot each other? The police cry revolution. Brutal murders. Murders. Not quite, Holmes. Look. But surely, Doctor. I left my dictionary at home, but I can still define murder as being one person killing someone who, or correct me if I'm wrong, might not want to be killed? I've died a few times. Spoils your day. Sarcasm. The lowest form of wit, dear doctor. But the most enjoyable, my dear Holmes. I concur. Please continue. The footprints. Yes. The five men entered the carriage this way. And then they gather here to... The footprints stop. Survey something? A discussion? About what, exactly? Something in the storage carriage. At that point... They were dispatched, one by one, but not against their will. Surely they were murdered, Doctor. No, they stood in line. Dutiful. If men were being murdered in front of you, you might consider taking off, right? Obviously, it's human instinct. There would be loads of footprints running around all over the place. Look closely at the dusty floor. Doctor, I have investigative devices of my own. A magnifying glass. Well, we're all safe now. One man, last in line. He took off, not so keen on meeting his maker. Or maybe he was a nervous shaver. He made for the carriage door, the frantic steps farther apart, now due to his panic. But the carriage swerved and he was... Yes, yes, thrown to the other side. Where his blood-soaked hand made this mark. A life and death struggle, he was pursued. The killer was frantic. He took a swing at him. The blade struck the door, here, here. And here! Doctor, this man is alive. How do you know? A fatal blow would reveal a tragic amount of blood. There's none here or outside. Oh, brilliant. Another observation, as strange as it may be. What's that? The killer left no footprints. You're right. Only the victims did. As if he were a ghost. The 
police report said that it was a straight razor. They were wrong. But Doctor, that was a significant statement of the police report. And I'm guessing that you were not even granted access to examine this carriage. Limited. Gull deemed it unnecessary. That's a bit dodgy, isn't it? You may view it as dodgy, Doctor, but I have faith in Scotland Yard. Nevertheless, someone wants London to think that a working-class revolutionist lunatic is on the loose. Doctor, if it wasn't a straight razor, then what was the murder weapon? Ah, the size of these gouges are indicative of a two-handed swing. The attacker had great strength. Almost supernatural. I'd say it was a sword and... You have your magnifying glass. I have my orange crystal. That can't be right. What is it? There is an energy reading. The sword is not from Earth. And before you start with that, there is no life on other planets. For a man to make such a statement, he has to be mad, lying, or telling the truth. You're not a liar, nor are you mad, Doctor. Oh, I had one of my big speeches planned. I love those. I believe you, Doctor. There's something in the darkness. A wild dog, it's enormous. Not wild. Possessed. And not dog, but dogs. Hundreds. We're surrounded 